Long Island City may not be the most exciting place to watch 38,000 of the world's best athletes race to victory, but at exactly 13.6 miles into the race, spectators say it's the most crucial spot to cheer on the runners. Oh, Josh, good job, Josh. Cheers is very important, you know, support. It gives you a little bit of momentum, a little bit of energy, a little bit of adrenaline later on, you know, while you're, while you're going strong and you have nothing left, you know, it gives you a little bit more. Leslie Kerner knows exactly how important it is to have people cheering towards the middle of the race. She's run in previous marathons, but today she's cheering for her fellow runners. We always come here to make sure that we can cheer on the runners when they need it the most. Queensboro Bridge is tough. I think it gives people a little boost before they get over that. And then in Manhattan, there's a lot of people cheering them on, so this is like the just right before they, they need it. Over two million spectators have shown up to cheer for today's athletes. And here in Long Island City, the halfway point, businesses are taking advantage of the crowds. We're going to have a good day. I can feel it already. Usually people are, are a little late, later coming in for drinks, so they're, they're ready. To, they're thirsty already. Kevin Sudoweth is also taking advantage of the crowds on Vernon Boulevard by selling carpets on the sidewalk near the spectators. Well, I hope to find some customers in the neighborhood that I wouldn't have met otherwise. And general publicity, just people seeing me, knowing that I'm here. But it's not all business. Kevin even takes a break from his customers to cheer for the disabled athletes of Achilles Track Club. I'm a big fan of the Achilles Track Club. Go Achilles! The race may begin in Staten Island, but it's here in Queens that the athletes get the strength to make it to Manhattan. Amalia Goro, Columbia Television News.